Are the heart attack signs and symptoms different in men and women? If so, what is the reason behind it? If you ask Google if the signs are different in men and women, it will tell you that it is a myth that men and women have different heart attack symptoms. That is true to some extent, but not entirely true. Men and women, while having many common anatomy and physiology features, there are still many distinct features between men and women. There are hormones more common in men, and there are hormones more common in women. Example is estrogen and testosterone. Estrogen has very positive effects in lipoprotein, especially lowering low-density lipoprotein, which can contribute to cardiovascular disease. Misconceptions around symptoms may make women less likely to seek and receive treatment. Educating women on the symptoms of heart disease that is more peculiar to them will make them to be actually vigilant and watch out for these symptoms and seek medical help. That is why, in this video, I'm going to briefly talk about what heart attack is and the causes. Then I will give you at least seven general signs and symptoms of heart attack. After that, we will go into which symptoms are common in men and in women. You will also learn why these symptoms might be different. And before I round up, I will tell you about the role of heart enzymes, also known as cardiac markers, in predicting and diagnosing heart attack. So make sure you watch this video to the end, and do not get to like and subscribe. Hi, if you are new to my channel, I am V, and welcome to the best health channel on YouTube where we talk about everything related to your health and well-being. What is a heart attack? You might hear your doctor say myocardial infarction, it means the same thing. A heart attack, medically known as a myocardial infarction, occurs when the flow of oxygen-rich blood to a part of the heart muscle is significantly reduced or completely blocked. This blockage is most often the result of coronary artery disease, CAD where the coronary arteries become narrowed or blocked over time due to the buildup of cholesterol-containing deposits called plaques. Let me explain further. I know you have heard of necrosis. For those that have had necrosis, mainly due to diabetes or snakebite, you know how painful it is. It is the same thing that happens to the heart. Oxygen is needed for every cell and tissue in your body to function. When factors like atherosclerosis, blood clot, or any other risk factor that contributes to those two happens, the blood vessels to your heart, which are known as coronary vessels, get blocked or damaged. This prevents blood, which is rich in oxygen, from reaching your heart. And when your heart tissues are deprived of oxygen for a certain length of time, they start to die, and that is when a heart attack happens. The same thing happens to the brain, but in that case it is known as stroke. Several factors can increase the risk of developing heart disease and experiencing a heart attack, including high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet, and family history of heart disease. Preventing a heart attack involves managing these risk factors through lifestyle changes, medications, and in some cases, surgical interventions to improve blood flow to the heart muscle. Now that we understand what heart attack is, how it happens, and the risk factors, let's look at the general signs and symptoms your body gives you when this happens, or at least one month before it happens chest discomfort or pain known as angina. Patients or individuals may experience intermittent chest pain or discomfort, often described as angina, which is caused by temporary decreases in blood flow to the heart. This can feel like pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain in the center of the chest. This discomfort can occur during physical exertion or emotional stress and usually goes away with rest or angina medication. It can start occurring more frequently as one gets closer to having a heart attack. Individuals often describe this as an uncomfortable pressure or a feeling like something is squeezing their chest. It's not always severe or debilitating, but is noticeably abnormal and concerning. Shortness of breath. An early sign can be shortness of breath during activities that previously didn't cause it, indicating reduced heart function due to poor blood flow. This symptom might not be constant and can occur sporadically in the weeks leading up to a heart attack. So watch out for it as it might be dismissed as being unfit or fatigue. Patients may report feeling unusually winded from simple activities like walking upstairs or carrying groceries, activities they could perform before without issue. Fatigue. Unexplained tiredness, especially when it increases over time, can be a sign. The heart's decreased ability to pump blood effectively can lead to less oxygen reaching the muscles, causing fatigue. Fatigue may become more noticeable and persistent in the days or weeks before a heart attack. Individuals often describe a profound sense of exhaustion that isn't relieved by rest. Doing everyday tasks feels overwhelmingly difficult. Sleep disturbances. Unusual patterns of sleep disturbance, including trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, might precede a heart attack. These disturbances can occur without an apparent reason in the weeks leading up to a heart attack. 
Patients might notice they're suddenly having trouble sleeping despite no change in their routine or stress levels. They might wake up feeling restless or anxious without knowing why. Indigestion, nausea, or stomach pain. Some people experience these digestive system symptoms as a prelude to a heart attack. The discomfort is not relieved by antacids or other gastrointestinal treatments. These symptoms can be sporadic and might seem unrelated to the heart, occurring more frequently as the event approaches. Patients may describe it as an unusual bout of severe indigestion or feeling queasy, sometimes dismissing it as a stomach bug or food-related issue, anxiety or unexplained nervousness. Some individuals report feeling a sense of doom or anxiety that they can't attribute to their life circumstances. This can manifest unexpectedly in the weeks before a heart attack. This is described as a sudden feeling of overwhelming anxiety or fear, akin to a panic attack without any clear reason. Sweating. Breaking out in a cold sweat for no obvious reason can be a precursor to a heart attack. This symptom may appear unexpectedly in the days or weeks before a heart attack. Patients may describe this as feeling cold and clammy when there is no increase in physical exertion or temperature to justify the sweating. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or feet. As the heart's pumping ability decreases, fluid can accumulate, leading to swelling in the lower extremities. Swelling can increase gradually and become more noticeable as the heart condition worsens. Individuals might notice that their shoes feel tighter than usual or see visible swelling, which doesn't go away with rest. These early warning signs can vary greatly among individuals and might not always indicate an impending heart attack. However, they should not be ignored, especially if they are new or have changed in frequency or intensity. Consulting a healthcare provider for any concerning symptoms is crucial for early detection and prevention of heart disease. When it comes to heart attacks, certain symptoms are reported more frequently in men. Understanding these can help in recognizing the signs early and seeking timely medical intervention. Let's look at the symptoms that are more common in men. Chest pain. This is the most common heart attack symptom for men and is often described as a feeling of pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain in the center of the chest. The discomfort may last for several minutes or go away and come back, radiating pain in the upper body. Pain can spread beyond the chest to the shoulders, arms, back, neck, or jaw. This radiating pain is a critical indicator of a heart attack. Men may report the sensation of pain moving or spreading from the chest to other areas, particularly the left side of the body. This can feel like a sharp pain, tightness, or uncomfortable pressure. Shortness of breath. Even without chest discomfort, shortness of breath can occur. This might happen before or during the chest pain and is a significant warning sign. Cold sweat. Suddenly breaking out in a cold sweat without any apparent reason can be a symptom of a heart attack in men. Stomach discomfort. Men might experience stomach pain, which can include feelings of indigestion, heartburn, or a sensation of an upset stomach, although this symptom is more common in women. Nausea or vomiting. Though less common than in women, some men do experience nausea or vomiting as a symptom of a heart attack. Lightheadedness. Feeling dizzy or lightheaded, especially in conjunction with chest discomfort or shortness of breath, can signal a heart attack. While these symptoms are more commonly reported by men, it's crucial to remember that heart attacks can present differently in everyone. Any unusual or persistent symptoms should prompt an immediate medical evaluation, as early detection and treatment are key to better outcomes. Heart attack symptoms in women can sometimes be different and more subtle compared to those in men. Let's check them out. Chest pain or discomfort. While chest pain is also common in women, many experience it differently than men. It may be less intense or not the most prominent symptom. Women might describe the sensation as a tightness, pressure, or ache rather than the classic severe chest pain. It's not uncommon for women to have a heart attack without experiencing chest pain at all. Shortness of breath. Women may experience this without chest pain. It can feel like suddenly being winded without having exerted oneself. Fatigue. Extreme tiredness not explained by lack of sleep, stress, or exertion can be a warning sign. This might appear days to weeks before a heart attack. Women have reported feeling overwhelmingly tired, even to the point of struggling to do simple activities they could easily manage before, like walking to the bathroom, nausea, and vomiting. These symptoms are more common in women experiencing a heart attack and may not necessarily be accompanied by chest pain. Women might mistakenly think they have food poisoning or other gastrointestinal issues back, neck, or jaw pain. Pain or discomfort in these areas, especially if it's unusual or unexplained, can be a sign of a heart attack in women. This pain is often sudden and may not be precipitated by physical stress.
Women might describe this as a sharp burning pain or discomfort, and it can be more pronounced than chest pain or occur without any chest discomfort. Dizziness or lightheadedness. Feeling woozy or as if one might faint can accompany a heart attack in women, sometimes without chest discomfort. Unusual stomach pain. Women may experience this more as a symptom of a heart attack, which can be mistaken for heartburn, the flu, or a stomach ulcer. This can be a sharp pain in the stomach area, different from nausea or indigestion that doesn't go away with antacids or other treatments. Women's heart attack symptoms can be subtle and sometimes confused with less serious conditions, leading to delays in seeking treatment. It's essential for women to listen to their bodies and seek immediate medical attention if they experience any of these symptoms, especially if they occur suddenly or without a clear cause. Now, you might be asking where there are slight differences in these symptoms between men and women. Let's look at the possible reasons for that. Heart size and structure. Women's hearts are generally smaller, and the heart's arteries are narrower than men's. This difference in size and structure can affect how blockages form and lead to variations in how heart attack symptoms manifest. Hormonal influences. Estrogen is believed to play a protective role in women's cardiovascular health by helping to keep the blood vessels flexible. However, as estrogen levels drop with menopause, the risk of developing coronary artery disease increases, potentially affecting how heart attack symptoms present. Microvascular disease. Women are more likely than men to have heart attack symptoms due to microvascular disease, which affects the heart's smaller arteries. This condition might not always cause the classic symptoms of a heart attack, leading to more subtle signs. Pain perception. Research suggests that men and women may experience and report pain differently. This difference in pain perception could influence how symptoms are described and even how seriously symptoms are taken by both patients and healthcare providers. Awareness and education. Historically, heart disease has been viewed as a man's disease, leading to less awareness about the risk and symptoms among women. This lack of awareness can influence how women perceive their symptoms and delay seeking medical help. Healthcare bias. There is evidence to suggest that women's symptoms are sometimes taken less seriously by healthcare professionals, leading to misdiagnosis or delayed diagnosis. This bias can affect the recognition and treatment of heart attack symptoms in women. Diagnostic challenges. The standard tests for diagnosing heart attacks, like ECGs and blood tests for cardiac enzymes, can sometimes miss heart attacks in women, particularly if the issue is related to microvascular disease or a non-obstructive coronary artery disease. These challenges necessitate a more nuanced approach to diagnosis and treatment for women. Understanding these differences and the reasons behind them is critical for both healthcare professionals and the general public. It emphasizes the need for tailored approaches in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of heart disease across genders, ensuring that everyone receives the most effective care based on their unique risk factors and symptoms. Heart enzymes, also known as cardiac biomarkers, play a crucial role in diagnosing and managing heart attacks, myocardial infarctions. These enzymes are proteins that are released into the blood when the heart muscle is damaged. Measuring the levels of these enzymes helps healthcare providers determine if a heart attack has occurred, the extent of heart muscle damage, and how well treatment is working. Here are some of the key heart enzymes and biomarkers used in the diagnosis and management of heart attacks. Troponin. Troponin is considered the most critical and specific marker for diagnosing a heart attack. It is a protein found in the heart muscle that helps regulate the heart's contractions. Elevated levels of troponin can be detected within hours after the heart muscle has been damaged and can remain elevated for up to two weeks. Because troponin is highly specific to heart muscle injury, its presence in the blood is a strong indicator of a heart attack. Creatine kinase MB, CKMB. Creatine kinase, CK, is an enzyme found in various tissues including the brain, skeletal muscle, and heart. The CKMB isoenzyme is primarily found in the heart and is released into the blood after heart muscle damage. The level of CKMB rises within 4 to 6 hours after a heart attack, peaks at about 24 hours, and returns to normal within 72 hours. While CKMB was once a primary marker for diagnosing heart attacks, its use has diminished in favor of troponin, which is more specific to heart muscle damage. Myoglobin is another enzyme that rises within 2 hours of an infarction. The measurement of these enzymes, especially troponin, has become a cornerstone in the diagnosis of myocardial infarction. A significant rise and or fall in troponin levels in the context of symptoms of heart attack confirms the diagnosis. 
In addition to diagnosis, the level of rise in cardiac biomarkers can also provide information about the extent of heart muscle damage, which is crucial for guiding treatment decisions and assessing the risk of complications. In conclusion, understanding the signs and symptoms of a heart attack, as well as the mechanisms behind how they occur, is crucial for everyone. Recognizing these early warning signs and knowing when to seek medical help can quite literally be the difference between life and death. Heart attacks can present differently in men and women, emphasizing the importance of awareness of these differences to ensure timely and appropriate medical care. We've delved into the biology of a heart attack, the risk factors that contribute to the development of coronary artery disease, and the preventive measures that can mitigate these risks. Remember, heart health is influenced by lifestyle choices, genetics, and regular medical checkups. By staying informed and proactive in managing our health, we can significantly reduce the impact of heart disease. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Your health and well-being are important, and I am glad to have shared this vital information with you. If you found this content helpful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hitting the notification bell will ensure you stay updated with our latest health tips and medical explanations, helping you live a healthier, more informed life. Your support motivates us to continue producing quality content. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.